of the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament. Hi, I'm Nick Benz along with Doug Martin, and we're at Glenn Schmitz in Newport today, Doug. And, Doug, they just had these lanes resurface this past week, and what's that going to mean to the bowlers? Well, Nick, uh, every every couple of years you have to resurface your lanes to put a new surface on there. Uh, with all the wear and tear of the 16-pound bowling balls going down the lane, it will wear into the urethane finish that is on here. So, like I say, every couple of years you have to resurface. So the lanes will be a, a, a new flat surface they'll be bowling on today. A lot of times that makes it a little tougher. So the scores they get today, they'll be earning, Nick. You know, uh, my theory is I think they did it for the TV show, Doug. They knew we were coming. Yeah, they did, and uh, we appreciate that, and we're looking forward to a real exciting uh, day today. Well, we'll be back to Glenn Schmitz in Newport for week number eight of the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament. <laughs> Here we are in Glenn Schmitz in Newport. I'm Nick Benjamin along with Doug Martin, and you got to love it. Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament action. And here's Bridget G. Fauchet. I know she loves it. It comes up a little bit light, leaves the five pins, start off the morning. I thought we might see Bridget throw another 301 game today. Bridget's claim to fame, of course. Uh, last year, week number three, LaRue Lanes rolled the first to 11. Then on her final 12th ball, she pulled it. Ended up with a 298 scratch. See her going for the five, and she just lets that fly a little too far out to the right, Nick, and misses the five. I think Bridge is still half asleep this morning. Now here's Donna Wathen. She's 33 years of age from Earl Anger. She lives over on Talbot. Talbot, did I say that right? She's married to Joe. They got one little boy, Jeffrey. Nick, she pulls it, comes high on the Brooklyn, leaves a seven pin. I'm telling you, Doug, can you believe we're in week eight? It's uh, hard to believe, Nick. Time flies when you're having fun, as they say. <laughs> That's what I always say. I, <laughs> I know time flew last night. <laughs> We were having well, some fun. When you're asleep, Doug, it does tend to go <laughs> a little faster. And for the conversion. And we're having some problems with our spares this morning. She throws it in the channel, leaves the seven. Well, Donna, uh, let's see. She bowls over to the Super Bowl, the Sunday Funnies League. Uh, she bowls Wednesdays at the Super Bowl and Thursdays at Dixie couple places we've already visited this year. Here we see Donna's a 41 handicap bowler with a 148 average. Throws a basically a straight ball net. Didn't uh, didn't get get it in the area. Left the uh, one, two, four, five. And I was throwing a 13-pound uh, yellow dot. Uh, we've got a lot of plastic balls on the show today, whereas uh, normally we've had uh, mostly urethane balls. Going for the conversion. There we go. Right on it. First mark of the day. We're waking up. We're waking up. You know, down here at uh, Glenny Schmitz, uh, they got the magic score, Doug. Yeah, they do. They put that in a few years back, uh, the Brunswick uh, Magic score that uh, keeps the score here. Makes it real nice for the bowlers. Now we see Bridget mixing them up for a uh, for strike. First market down baby of the morning. I'm, I'm looking at that Magic score, and if you're not familiar with it, I don't know. <laughs> Things flashing and... It's like a pinball machine. There you go. A video game. Let's see if Bridget can play a little pinball with these pins. Eh? Bridget came in, uh, got it in the pocket, a little bit light again, didn't get the ball to drive through, uh, take out the five. And Bridget's throwing an edge, a uh, 16 pound edge. That's a urethane ball. It's about the only urethane ball on the show today. Well, Bridget is 19 years of age, and she's certainly a veteran at 19. Skips over in Florence. No problem on the five this time. Picks it up. There we see the uh, automatic scoring here, Nick. Look at it flashing up there, Doug. Yeah. 
<laughs> Can you figure that out? There's Donna. Donna let that one back up a little bit on her. Left the one, two, four, nine. Tough conversion here, Nick. She's going to go for it. Oh, just went to the right of the head pin. Just barely missed it. A good effort. You know, Doug, when they resurface the lanes, uh, how long does it take to get that track built back up? Well, it takes about uh, all three to four weeks to really get the lanes back in the groove again. Uh, normally, depending on how much uh, how much bowling's done on them. Got it in the one three and almost, but not quite. Gets the five, doesn't get the five out. Had a wiggling, Nick. Here we see it again. A little light on the head pin. Head pin comes back, gets the four and the seven out, but just won't get that five pin out. Donna uses a semi-fingertip ball, which we touched on a little bit last week. Yeah, as we talked about last week, that's where the ball is drilled in between the two knuckles on your fingers. Nobody misses the five. Picks it up. I think Donna hit her down. She was kind of shaking her head. <laughs> Piece of cake here. Bridget looks determined here. And there's Bridget. Didn't quite get it up the hill, Nick. At least a two, four, five. Bridget's been light on every shot, Doug. Yeah, she has. Um, a lot of times when you come out with the TV lights and so forth, you have a tendency to pull the ball. She's doing the opposite. She's giving a little bit too much room and not quite getting it back. Dead on the spare, though. Don't forget next week, uh, let's see. I'm saying don't forget. There we go. Uh, <laughs> you we'll already forgot. I forgot. <laughs> don't forget we'll be taping at Southern. Lanes next week, and the qualifier will be at Bellwood. There's Bridget. There it is. Got it in light again. Just didn't quite get that seven out of there. Yeah, we'll be out Alexandria way next week, so uh, 9:30 next Sunday. I'd like to invite everybody to come out and watch the taping of the show. Very interesting to see and see the the good bowling. I'd like to invite you, Doug, out. Be there by 9:30. Yeah, I'll try to be there myself. <laughs> Bridget picks up the seven. We're halfway through our first match here at Glenn Schmitz in Newport in week eight of the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament. We'll be back with some more bowling action right after this. I love that magic score. Okay. Actually, actually, huh? I know. Go ahead, Doug. Actually, Nick, that's, this is not Magic Score. Magic Score is made by AMF. This is the AS80 automatic Bite. scoring uh, by Brunswick. So I just wanted to clarify that for you. Bite my tongue. <laughs> but you know, when I go in a stop, I want a Coke, even though I don't, I'm a Pepsi drinker. Yeah. <laughs> well, Donna pulled that one a little bit, left the one three. But one thing I always get straight is, hey, I want a blue. You know, we're talking about Pabst Blue Ribbon, our fine tournament sponsor. There's no question about that. No questions we're asked. Part of the uh, Big Blue Brew Crew. I saw that uh, bumper sticker on a car the other day. That's right. Here we go for the one three. Fix it up. She's making me a nervous wreck back here, Nick. She's just uh, just barely making these spares here. She's throwing a slider, Doug. Yeah, exactly. You know, Donna's only been bowling for two years. You know, more and more, Doug, we see a lot of people, uh, like Donna, for example, she's 33 years of age, 
and she's just just picked up the game and certainly uh, she's out there uh, making it on the program and having a lot of fun at it yeah she is Nick uh, she pulled that ball a little bit again just got a piece of the head pin leaves a uh, tough little spare there three nine got a sleeper back yeah, here yeah that double wood that is tough but yes yeah, there's so many people picking up the game here in the last few years and uh, and all it takes is practice, and uh, you can be on the show here too. It's perfect, uh, perfect exercise, and uh, we'll see Donna going for the three nine. Excellent shot! Excellent up. shot! That's textbook. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You know, I guess one thing that I enjoy most about this show is it never fails each and every week. Someone's always coming up to me that I never had any idea to watch the show. Hey, I saw the show last week. Uh, it was boring, just like all the rest of them, or something <laughs> like that. Anyway, it, it's really encouraging to find all these people uh, who do watch the program. Yeah, it is, uh, Nick. Uh, Bridget, still not quite getting that thing up the hill. Comes light on the head pin again, and she leaves a tough split. She's got the 4 or 5 there. She's going to have to fit the ball right in between there. This is tough. This is tough. And doesn't get it over enough. Leaves the four. Yeah, that's true, Nick. Um, I uh, constantly run into people, too, that watch our show, and uh, they kept, keep asking me if you're as crazy in person as you act on the air. <laughs> That's that's not true. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to be the first to tell you that uh, he is even crazier. So you heard it here first. <laughs> oh, I don't eat bugs or anything. There's Bridget. Get out of there. Bridget's having a hard time. She finally gets that one up in the hole, but the six just uh, fell in the gutter, laid right in front of the ten. Just didn't want to get the ten out of there. I tell you, Bridget's our only one on the tube this week with any TV experience. And that was in 1984. But at qualifying, Bridget rolled a 182, 180, and 259 for 621 scratch plus handicap for 660. Pretty good numbers. She goes cross lane, picks up the 10. And here, let's look at Donna's numbers 177, 191, and 206 for 574 scratch plus HDCP handicap for 697. You can see, Nick, uh, Donna, she knew what she did there at the line. That one just got away from her. You can see it on her release. Didn't get it to the head pin. Donna is just kind of cruising. She had a 28-pin handicap advantage, and Bridget uh, opened in the first, and she's just kind of been cruising. Yeah, she has. Uh, nobody's really uh, blowing them out here. She goes for the one, two, nine. Good shot. Big ball. Picks it up. So Donna's plus 21. The winner of this match will move on to meet Julie Robb, our high qualifier of the week. She's still here somewhere, I'm sure. No, she didn't leave. Donna taking a four-step approach. There's the slider. She had him sliding that time, Nick. Got a break, really. Just barely hit the head pin. Leaves a three. She's just sparing him to death here. Strikes are going to be a little hard to come by today on uh, the resurface lanes as we talked about. The scores they get today, uh, basically, they're going to really earn. Watch out. And just as I said she's sparing him to death, she makes me a liar and misses it. Let's see what old Bridget can do. She's minus 21, but with a chance to cut that gap. There's Bridget. Mark it down, baby. That's the one she's been looking for, Nick. She had good... Good turn on that ball. Got it out on the lane nice. Got it where she wanted it. And crunch. All ten in the pit. 
Here we see it again. Here it comes. One, three, boom. A strike right here could put Bridget with a one pin advantage. Right. There it is. Mark it down, baby. Big two bagger for Bridget. Comes on strong when she uh, when she needs it. That's that uh, veteran TV experience there, Nick. There you go. Donna opened the door uh, for her with that open the last frame, and she just jumped all over and got that two-bagger. Now let's see how Donna can respond. We're on lanes three and four at Glenn Schmitz. Donna comes up uh, high in the one-three, leaves the four-seven. This is a must spare. She has to have it. Going cross lane for it. She's right on it, dead on it. Nick, I tell you, the first time on TV, uh, you get spares uh, like the 4-7 that are normally fairly easily made. They they become very difficult. That ball feels like it weighs 20 pounds in your hand when you're going for them. Yeah, people are so cute when they're on the tube. Yeah, aren't they, though? They are. <laughs> Except uh, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Donna. We're in the tenth. It's an even match. Looking Brookin. Oh, got a bad break on that, Nick. A little bit light on the Brooklyn, and the ball uh, did not get that five out there. Leaves the five seven. Tough break. A little look of disgust on uh, Donna's face there. Wasn't Donna the one who made that split in practice? Yeah, I believe so. See uh, what she can do with this split here. We're pulling for you, Donna. She picks it up. How about that? Woo! I'm impressed. That was impressive. First time on the show. Here we see it again. Textbook here. Just barely gets a piece of five. Drives it over to oh. seven. That was beautiful. That was pretty. And she needed that one, too. Look at this. Gets nine of them on her fill ball for a 191. This is going to be a close match. Yeah, this is going to be uh, extremely close. This is a big, big ball for Bridget DeFosche. She's been in this situation before. We're in the 10th. Lane four, her favorite lane. She got it, Nick. Hit him light and let him fight. That ball just sealed it, Doug. Here we see it again. 10th board, coming up light, hits the head pin, comes off the wall, just pushes the four and the five right out of there. She's got a lot of action off that, off the head sideboard. You got it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to start calling now, because you got the head pin going off the sideboard. We're just called the headboard. Just little make headboard up, action. Just make up your own, a little, little headboard action. <laughs> little headboard just make action. up your own names as we go. A Bridget can't miss now. Pulls it Brooklyn. A little light, but gets away with it. So Bridget Defoche strings four in a row to win this one. She gets a strike on her fill ball here, Nick. Uh, she wound up with a 215. She came on, uh, here it comes. Two, one, four. For Bridget DeFoche, she'll move on uh, to meet Julie Robb in the women's final week eight in the Northern Kentucky Programming Network down at Glenn Schmitz. We'll be back.